Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Um, uh, today I was messing about and then I thought um, um, I'm going to come on and make a little tutorial for a Pookie 2. I've seen on Facebook, you know, somebody posted um, um, a Pookie, a Pookie, Pookie 2 using something they got from Hobby Lobby. It's, they called it Scribe uh, Pins and um, we can't get it in the UK and um, and then it seems like um, they went crazy and uh, and it's all sold out or, or they can't find it anymore in Hobby Lobby and um, <laughs> yeah something about Pokey too went crazy and uh, making it all shabby chic. So um, I was tidying up my um, craft room a bit, and then I was looking for some new needles, and then um, and I come across a whole bunch of uh, thick needles that I have. Um, but I bought these must be last year. Or two years ago, when I wanted some needles to do uh, like a, a running stitch for a gather, you know, for gather gathering uh, some laces and whatnot, and I bought the wrong type, and I bought this from eBay, and um, and they were just too thick, and I just thought, oh god, you know, it's just not the right thing for uh, gathering materials um, for stitching, because you make a great big hole on your material. So I put this aside, and I can't remember what I was doing the other day, and I, and I used it, and then it suddenly dawned on me. Oh my word! This is exactly. Well, I won't say exactly. This would. I just thought this would be absolutely perfect for pokey too, because it's not crazy sharp. Like I was told, uh, as a, a scribe pins. I think a scribe pin is what they use for jewelry, for marking on metal. You know, um, so it has to be really sharp so you can make marks on metal. Um, so I and and people been using um, skewers and whatnot, and they're just too thick, and you can't find, um, you know. Um, big bits with big holes to put it through sometimes so that's it that's what dawned on me and I thought oh my god I've got these needles under my nose all this time and um, so I'd um, quickly mess about and try and play with it and then I make this little this is what I make I make my own pokey two out of these um, needles <laughs> one of these needles and this is the one that I use. I I have got different lengths. I, I just threw away the package. It come in a pack of four. Or, um, so I bought different lengths. So I cannot remember if they were uh, in different lengths when I bought them or a pack of four the same length. I couldn't tell you. So I got four in this length. So five, that is the same length. And this one is shorter. And then this two is the same length and this one's slightly shorter. So I couldn't tell you whether they are the same or not. So I've got five in the length and then four in these different lengths. So I'll tell you how long they are. So the longest one I have is nearly, it's a six and three quarter inch um, long. And then I've got one that is just a shy of six inches. And then the smallest one I have is just shy of uh, four inches. What I sometimes use um, for this is for making um, book binding. You know, you want to put the holes through your pages. And that, and that is what was perfect. So now I have my own proper pokey too now, pokey too, and you, you know, to make my holes for my um, book binding. So the one, th uh, the ones that, um, the one that I use for this is um, five inches long. So brilliant. <laughs> so 
the ladies who wants to look for these or in Europe, go on eBay and find. I have no idea how I found this. I just found, uh, look for four inches long needles, or now you know the, the length, maybe five, six inches. Just look for them and you'll come out with this. I find it absolutely perfect. It's not super sharp, but it's good enough for poking a hole through pages. So, um, yeah, so I thought, well, I've got an hour or so, I'll come on and um, do a little tutorial uh, or something, but it's, it won't be the same. I thought I had two of these gorgeous beads, but um, I can't find it anywhere, as usual. And so I'm going to uh, I just, you know, I found some bits and bobs over here, which I will use. So I'm going to see if I've got it here. No, it's not. So I don't have it. And um, just getting my glue together. Right. So how I did was, um, you see, the uh, scribe pins that they got in the stage is like a, a little a loop at the end so you know um when you put the bit through it stops just there but with this it goes straight out so what i do is i would put um that's why i tie some uh tie some of these uh, ribbons and whatnot on there so to pre prevent um, uh, my bits going through or you could um use some chain for dangles and then it's just as, uh, just as nice um so i'm gonna get some um ribbon and whatnot um and then um, i'll put it through my the eye so i'm gonna be using this longer one this time which is the um nail six inch one isn't it Right, I'm back. So what, <laughs> I've changed my mind. So I've decided I've found this bunch of um, dangles. So I'm gonna use this dangle uh, straight off and attach it to here. So that is where my dangle gonna start. Um, so while I'm there, um, I'm gonna try and secure this. And um, so they don't fall off. Just let me get the right pliers and whatnot. So this is a bit impromptu. Is um, spur of a moment so I say nothing was planned I just thought I would just have a play and make another one and I thought why don't I make a video so that's what I'm doing uh, and share it with you um, rather than just um, you know show you a video of what I've made so just be careful with that um, sharp bit. Not that it's very sharp, but you still have to be careful and make sure um, you don't put your eye with it. Right, okay. Right, so that is uh, secure on there. And later on, I will still just kind of make sure that it's not uh, sharp. Okay, what I was to do is um, thread my ribbon through there, my seam binding, which I need to dye first. Okay, so that is what I could still do. So this is just to show you what I would do. So if we tie knots there, um, Oh, 
I'm gonna really, I'm gonna put it back out now here go. So I'm just gonna tie one. There's enough room look, there's plenty of room to do it again twice, so I'm just um do this and just so then we have a kind of a finished product rather than wait for me to uh, dye this um, seam binding and whatnot I'm gonna put another one through there later on so that is the top right now I'm going to add my B cap I've got one here right so what I use I can see it is still loose um, I use my silicon glue okay um, which is very good um, I've used it to buy my um, call it uh, shoes and slippers and whatnot so that goes in there and when it dries it's super super strong okay so that will go in there so I I'm going to squirt a bit inside. All right. So it doesn't matter if we got a bit out because we, we need that anyway to secure. Um, so I'm going to, I've got another, I've got some kind of spaces. These are jewelries that I uh, taken apart. Okay, and um, they're just brilliant so I'm going to put some more glue because these spaces and these bits have quite large holes so you don't want it to be all wobbly so now I'm going to squirt some more okay and um, um, put another bead on So we can see that there is some glue sticking out there. So I'll get some um, baby wipes. Just wipe it. You can see it's squirting a bit there, so we'll just wipe it. There's still some inside, so we don't have to worry um, about it being all wiped off. That is still there. Okay. going to put a bit more on the top here on the B cap okay there we go so I know that big heavy glass uh, lamb work bead is, is going to hold right so now I'm going to squirt some more on top see what I was going to do is I was going to add some um, um, dangle in between the beads as well like all this I found but I decided I'm using this bunch of dangles that is already ready made on the top instead so um, I'm gonna add another spaces okay and uh, I don't know if you can see it sorry there we go so that's what I'm doing all right some more glue on top as you can see here that's what I'm doing um, I'm gonna use this this one there we go so I'm just gonna wipe off all the excess that is squirting out which we need well we need to but it doesn't matter even if you know it is um, showing because when it dries you can't see anyway and um, you know it is clear so that is that bit and now I'm going to um, squirt some more um, if you don't have the silicon glue you, you know if 
if you'll um, the the hole in your beads uh, is um, quite snug. Um, you use um, what do you call it glossy accent. That is the best glue to use. Uh, but because these holes, as you can see, are quite big, they're quite big. Um, so it would be all all loose, like you can see. So you would you would need an awful lot of glossy accent, which I don't think you could do it anyway. Um, so the best glue is silicon glue. So, well, in my opinion. Okay, so just squirting some glue, you can see on the top, and then this time I'm going to use this one here, I like this one. So this one is quite snug, so that is just nice. So there you go, that will fit in just nice. Okay. You can see that there. So I'm going to. It's very easy and simple. It's just whatever you want to put on, and where you know whether you want dangles or not. Um, it's all up to you. Um, I was going to, as you can see, my other one. I added my dangle there, which um, was uh, for my little angel, and I took it off. Um, added it longer make it longer then I added my angel at the end um, so I was going to add this somewhere there but be and then extend it out but because I've already got this whole bunch of dango it'd be too much it'll be all in the way and all you know um, uncomfortable so now, um, see, because this is quite snug, that's what I quite I like that. So it's um, kind of secure all the heavy bits at the top. And now I've got another, um, I have got a B cap that is quite small and I need to find it. <laughs> and it looks like, there we go. So I've got one that goes, uh, the, at the bottom of this and I will see because this is quite small now I can actually use um, glossy glossy accent for this okay and yeah I could use that If it wants to come out, if not, then I'm gonna have to. Um, then I will have to use um, a silicon glue. And this is supposed to stop it. Um, where is it? That is supposed to stop it from uh, clogging up, but it hasn't, has it? So. Let's see. Let's try again. Oh, hang on. it's coming, it's coming. I was just being impatient, so I'm gonna put some glossy accents around. Around the bead. And then on here as well. That should stick just to make it more secure. I'm gonna put some a little bit on there. Right. So I'm gonna lay that down in it. Clean this down so that it will come out when I want it next. Let's close everything before it dries up and now I need the top for that. This is how I do it so that <laughs> it's 
not clog up next time I use it. Right. So that is how simple it is, and that is my pokey too. So to leave it to dry, I would lay it down like that. Um, it will dry in a few hours, and by tomorrow it will be absolutely as uh, secure as anything. And here we go. And there is my pokey too, and that's my first one. I love that bit. I need to find it. I'm, I'm sure I've got one more. So that one is that simple. So what I'm obviously would do later is add some more um I'll, i need to dye that pink and um maybe add some um little fiber thing on it as well so it's more chappy chic and there we go easy peasy pokey too everybody and uh, <laughs> thank you for watching i'll see you again all soon bye